Broadcasting from the greatest castle in the world, in the County of Lawrence, NCTV 45. Tanya and David. Good morning. Dave or David? David. Okay. I like it. It's strong. D David is strong. Welcome to Holistic Living. Welcome. So what's the topic for today? We're going to talk about time management. Time time management? Well, not time management. Can you manage time? No, you can't. Yes, you can manage No, time. you can manage yourself. No. Yes. Well, you're given 24 hours in a day. The same 24 hours <laughs> everybody's given. And you have to manage that 24. Everything is about management. So manage your time. Okay, my love. So what, what, what are we... What are we managing? Well, the first thing that we need to do is manage the time that we put on social media. From, from the time that you wake up to the time that you go to bed. How about that one? Why? I do like that one. Well, hold on. First, what are we going to do with that time? Because I know a lot of people say that I don't have time. Before we address that social media one, I know a lot mm. of people say I don't have time. Yeah. Um, or there's nothing to do in Newcastle, wherever we're at. So... Um, we're talking about like family time, right? Mm -hmm. Date time, We, we can start right time. there. The, the, how do you spend your first morning? How do you spend the time that you get from the time that you wake up to the time that, let's just say, you leave your house to go to your job? Does that include like when you hit the snooze button like five times? Okay. Well, that's just taking away from your time. That's although true. Although it is edifying for your <laughs> eyelids. <laughs> it is edifying for the eyelids. Mm -hmm. You're right. It is. But you're wasting time because how long is that snooze button? Five minutes? And Both. do you really like go to sleep? No, you don't. You just rest and think. And then sometimes you rest and think and you sit on your social media to catch up on what you missed on throughout the time you were sleeping. True that. Very true. Yeah. Well, okay, so we did this um, at Sovereign Martial Arts. We're the owners. Um, and we have our extreme uh, workout class. Mm -hmm. And we heard a lot of individuals saying, well, I don't have time to eat this or I don't have time to, you know, do whatever the case may be. A lot of excuses. And so we said, all right, I want you to give me, there was a challenge. I want mm -hmm. you to give me your agenda. Yep. Okay. And uh, let me know what you do from the time that you wake up. Yep. Okay. So if it takes you 20 minutes to wake up, then put from 7 to 7.20, take you 20 minutes to get up, whatever. And so we did that. And they turned it in. A lot of people turned it in. And I was shocked because what did we see? We saw three hours in the Jeez. morning of social media just just being nosy, I guess. Um, no, nobody putting anything up inspirational. Nobody edifying. Nobody using... Study. No, nobody using social media for the actual influence of what they can do. Um, really, it was just a waste. And then, like, another three hours um, in the evening or however, and... It was pretty interesting because it came out to like, it came out to like 40 to 60 hours in a month time that literally they were on social media, which means like they do, like you can get paid for that. Like that's a whole job. Yeah. Overtime. 40, 60 hours in a week. Now, I want you to think about this. If you wake up at six o'clock in the morning and you have to be at work at eight o'clock in the morning and you've spent 45 minutes on social media within those two hours, that's a long time of wasting time but by the time you woke up to the time you got to work. Very true. That's 45 minutes. That's almost an hour, five days a week, mm -hmm. and then you do it again when you're on your way home, and then all throughout the day when your boss is not looking, which is really deceptive. Go ahead and comment. I want to see. Comment in the chat how often, or like... From the time that you get up, how long does it take you to actually go onto social media, right? Just the first thing. Just, just a question. Because, yeah, well, yeah, people like to look at chats. Mm -hmm. Right when they get up. Commenting, getting yourself fired and frustrated over things that have nothing to do with you. Yeah. Or this may be things that you may be passionate about or not passionate about or just maybe nosy that you just want to say that you would never <laughs> say to somebody's face. But we're getting off the topic of that. Off the topic. Because. So. What could you be doing with that time that you're wasting on social media, commenting on the puppies that can do the puppies that are so cute, or the dolphin that's you know swimming backwards, or yeah. somebody else's vacation that you wish that you could be having, or no? My favorite is the drama. My favorite is going on there and like you know they have a bad day, and so they tell everybody on social media that they had a bad day. Oh no, this conversation um, is going left. Well, it's going left. You steer it right, I'll go left. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. You go right? left. I'll steer it back. Go ahead. Okay. So they put all their business out on social media, and then they want to know why 
they have so much more drama in their life because you know everybody has an opinion um and so you know that's how it goes but you know what that's we have so we have we have people in here we have our studio you want to talk no. come on somebody no, i know social you guys media got it. etiquette social do you guys how 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 quick how quick do you guys get on social media from when you wake up in the morning oh just went off okay <laughs> okay yeah it doesn't matter i see it huh yeah. Two seconds. So you like you like roll over and you're like, like that, yeah. <laughs> what about you? I scroll through Pinterest in the morning. I look at stupid pictures to wake myself up. Oh, look yeah. at that, Pinterest. Pinterest. I do. Pinterest is kind of interesting though. Or you watch funny little videos, or you watch educational videos, or you watch like documentaries, and yeah. while it's learning, but how? What is that doing for your progression of getting to your goal? See that? What is what is that doing with right. the, with that time? What are you doing? What what is advancing you to the, the, the your purpose in life? I know that it keeps me distracted for hours on end when I'm supposed to be working on something else. Oh, see, okay, so distraction. Perfect distraction. Yeah. Why are you, Mister Mister Andre? Why are you always on social media? Is it like looking for stuff, drama? It's entertaining. 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 What's entertaining? The videos or like people's drama or people's drama. Much. People's Same. drama. People's yeah. drama. Okay. See? Being nosy. Being nosy. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, these are honest answers because they're, these they are, are. They, they're adult-like answers, regardless, because you have adults that are nosy. You have adults that are trying to be entertained, and then they're living other people's dreams vicariously yeah. through social media. And in those three things, they're never looking at how they can get to their yeah. dreams because it's easier to look at somebody else's than to actually work to get there. Ooh, he called you out. And so therefore, oh. no, no, not my, <laughs> not, not my babies over here. But what I'm saying is, right. that's so life. Rear left, now we're taking a no, hard it, right it really, this way really, really to what is the goal? when you wake up what is the priority what are you doing with the time yeah what do you do with your time that you waste you do nothing with it, it you just waste it you lose it so how do we reclaim the time mm -hmm. to achieve what you're looking for because yeah. that's what we want that we want our audience to know that there is time that gets wasted that you never get back but Correct. there are goals that you're trying to get to because you know what? It's better to look through the window of what you're doing and where you're going than looking at the the through the window of all of the gossip, the problems, the issues, and then most sometimes you get yourself involved in problems and issues when you're on social media. Yes. So instead of getting yourself involved in that, because it's okay to be aware, but when you then start commenting, then we got issues because then now you're wasting your time commenting and defending your own opinion, which you don't need to say it <laughs> to them. Keep it to yourself. So rear it this way. What do you do? Why are you laughing, Mr. Josh? Uh, I'm just agreeing. Yeah. <laughs> He's just agreeing. Because. I, I, All right. So, yeah. well. Prioritize. Well, you could be spending time with your family. Okay. So. Let's, what about that? Yes, yes. And how are you? Inf how are you taking that time to influence your family, to to achieve and accomplish mm -hmm. the goals for their life? Uh, you know what? I think that we get so busy, just being real honest and open. We get so busy in life that when we're we're we have that we we are challenged to put that time together, and we say, "Here, spend time with your kids." But then you don't know what to spend time with. Some some people they they don't even know how to spend time right. with their kids. Right. Um, they're kind of uncomfortable because okay. now they're in that intimate space uh -huh. where they have to tell their children they love them and how oh. proud they are, Aye. and they have to listen to um, their fun banter and all that stuff, and it puts them in an uncomfortable position because you know they have to be intimate and open, and, and that's even like with with a marriage. I mean, imagine if you got up. And instead, you know, if you're a child, um, you know, you woke up, you thank God for your day, and then you went and you talked to your parents and you you just blessed them and saw how they were doing. Give them a hug, show them appreciation, because that could be the last time you ever see them. Or your spouse and you roll over and you give them a kiss instead of looking at your phone. It's like, it's like imagine those type of things and we, we always have to wait until somebody dies or something happens or some dramatic situation before we value time. 
And so, you know, we're going to end with this and just say, we want to make sure that you guys um, are valuing your time, mm -hmm. that you're not bringing the excuse that you can't do something. Imagine that person that we were talking about, those, those individuals where they have 60 hours of time in a month. Can you imagine building a business? Can you imagine going to school? Um, can you imagine what that would be if you spend 60 more additional hours with your family or, um, you know, individuals that uplift you and bring you up to another level? Right. Like, imagine what that would actually do. So we're going to leave with this and we're going to challenge you today go throughout the rest of the week yep. take out a calendar that uh -huh. has like your times from like seven you know broken down and legitly write down what you were doing at that time and look back and see where you allotted your time and what's actually going to bring you to that next level That's exactly right. um you're going to be convicted mm -hmm. if you choose to take the challenge mm -hmm. Yeah, take that time that you feel like you lost or the or the accounted time that you lost and wasted yeah. and then find the dream that you were look that you're trying to get to and exactly. then and purpose that time that you wasted. Yeah. And then put that towards getting to your goal, getting to your dream. Maybe nice. even talking to that person that you like. How about that one? You know, something that's going to edify your life. Yeah. Yeah. Reading and doing all that. Awesome. Good stuff. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. So, there's the challenge that's for challenge. you. Comment below. Let us know if you actually took the challenge. You can even message us um, on NCTV mm -hmm. uh, on the fan page yep. and give us your schedule. We'll take a look at it. We'll even go over it in the show <laughs> and we'll give you some advice about that. Well, that would be fun. Right? That would be fun. Mm -hmm. That's a good challenge. So if you're going to take that challenge, message us on NCTV fan page and we will go through that in one of the next episodes. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we'll take a couple individuals and we'll help you you know manage that and prioritize and even give you some ideas to be able to launch businesses yeah. or wow. um, do some different things within the city Wouldn't that be fun? yeah we have amazing time management class crew here so I know that they have dreams and great advice too alright so thank you for watching holistic living yes. on NCTV we appreciate you watching and engaging don't forget to share because sharing is caring Us. Us. <laughs> Hi, I'm Instructor Tanya and... I'm Instructor David. And we're happy to partner with NCTV to bring you our show, Holistic Living. And that is with a W-H-O-L. Mm -hmm. That means we want to talk about mind, body, and spirit and get you fully equipped to live the best life possible. At Sovereign Martial Arts of Newcastle, Pennsylvania. To a TV near you. <laughs>